In this video, we're going to take a look at a couple of the methods that are available to us from the AssertJ library, especially when it comes to comparing or for testing different types of collections, and specifically the elements within our collection, and also the order that those elements appear. So if I take a look at the class that we'll be testing, it's just called item, and it contains two variables. So we have the size, which is an integer, and the description, which is a string. The item implements comparable, which means it overrides the compare to function, which is used for ordering the items when they are appearing within a collection. We're taking the description of this item and comparing it to the description of the item that's being compared to it. We then have some getters and setters. So within the list transformer class, there are going to be two methods that we're going to be testing. One is called contains letter that takes in a char sequence of a letter and a list of items. We simply filter against those items, getting the description of that item and filtering if that description contains the letter from this char sequence. And then we just return a list of those items. And then the contains letter and sort methods does the exact same where it filters against the item description and the char sequence of the letter. However, it then sorts that list using the compare to function from the item class. And I'm going to move over to the list transformer test class. I've started by creating the setup method, which will instantiate the list transformer that we'll be using in our tests. And the first test we'll be doing will be for the contains letter method. So first I'm going to define a few items of our own. and then I'm going to add them into their own list. So now that we've defined our items, we want to filter against these items for all the items that contain the letter B. So the list that we expect will contain just A and B as raspberry and banana both contain the letter B. And now what we want to do is test that the expected list of items is equal to the items with B. So our assertions are going to be quite progressive. So the first thing we want to do is to make sure that this list transformer does not return a null list. So we can do that with assert that. Next, we want to assert against the size of this list because it will no longer be three, but we expect it to now be two. And lastly, what we want to do is to ensure that the items within items with B is equal to the items that are, that are contained within this expected list. And this is where assert J can offer a useful and very readable method for us to assert against, and that is using the has same elements as method call. So now if I run this test, we can expect it to pass. If I were to change one of these items, let's say I was to change the banana for apple, we would then expect one item should be returned and therefore it won't contain A and B. Okay, I'm just going to change that back. And this has same elements as method call from assertj can be very useful for comparing the elements that are contained within two different collections with assertj. So the next test we're going to write is actually for the order for which those items within the collection appear. So I'm just going to copy and paste this method below. And this will be for the sorted method. So rather than have the contains letter, I'm going to do the contains letter and sort. And then we're still going to pass in those same items and we're going to expect a slightly different item to come back. So rather than having the raspberry and the banana within an array, we would probably expect the items to come back as the banana first, followed by the raspberry. And that will be because of this compare to item, which takes the description of the raspberry and compares it to the banana. 
and that banana will be returning a negative one value from this compare to function as b comes before r within that descending kind of order. So if I were to run this test exactly how it is, we would actually still expect it to pass. And the reason it's still passing is because we're not actually asserting against the order of the items other than just the items that are contained within that list. So the second method that we're going to explore with assert j is called is sorted according to. So we can do assert that. We can see here that as is assorted according to will take in a comparator. So within this test method, we're going to define our own comparator and we're going to pass that in. So this comparator that we defined here will be using the item.getDescription value to define exactly how items are going to be sorted when this sorted method is called from the contains letter and sort method. So now if I run this test, we can expect it to pass. So the test has passed because for this final assertion, we're asserting against the comparator used for items with B. And if I, if I go back to the item class for the compare to function, we can see that it is using the description where it is compared to the other item being passed in the description of. So that would be in the descending order. So if I were to go back to the test and to assert against the comparator being reversed, we can now expect this test to fail. And the failing test is telling us that banana is not less than or equal to raspberry where we're expecting it to be raspberry first, followed by banana. But the actual list returned was banana followed by raspberry. So the final assertion I'm going to touch upon will actually use this expected list to, comp to compare the exact items that we expect to the actual items that we return from the list transformer. So, so far, all we've done is asserted against the comparator being used within that list. However, you may not always be using a comparator to build or to sort your list. So we're asserting with the items with B, which is the actual items that we have. And if we type contains, we can see contains exactly elements off, and then we'll be passing in the expected items. Now our expected items is an array of A followed by B, which is raspberry banana, but the actual items we're expecting will be banana followed by raspberry because we're sorting them by the description in an ascending order. So this test should now fail. So the test has failed and we have a really nice log just down below. It says actual and expected have the same elements but not in the same order. So at index zero, the actual element was banana. So that's actually what we're returning, but it says here that we expected raspberry. So if I just change this order to B followed by A, we can rerun this test and we can expect it to pass. Okay, so the test has passed and that summarizes this video on how we can use the assert J library or even similar libraries to assert J such as Houndcrest and the different method calls that they might have for asserting against the actual element contained within a collection, whether they're using different types of comparators and doing an actual like for like comparison for the order of those elements within your collection.